talk about World War Z. That was a very good movie. That was probably my favorite zombie movie I've ever seen. <laughs> and I'm surprised so many people don't know that it's a zombie movie. But it actually is a zombie movie. And you know, it's really cool. But I had some people to say that it's not really zombies, it's more like rabies, whatever. Like if you die from a bite and you come back to life and you're incoherent and the only way that you can die or be killed is a shot through the head, you're a zombie. <laughs> you know, the thing that I, this movie for me was so intense while watching it because for one thing, they change within like 12 seconds. Yep. The, so you got bit and you changed to 12 seconds. It's like, holy cow. Yeah, it was like crazy. And then, and then like it was nonstop action through the whole movie. Like I was tense. Like I did not like become, I did not relax until the end of the movie. Yeah. You know, so so afterwards, just kind of I realized that all my muscles was just like tense, and I didn't relax. Like, oh my goodness! Like everybody in our theater was like, you can tell we were like everybody in the theater was all tense up because one person I went up to go to the bathroom or something, and they like tripped, and everybody, like, everybody, everybody like, jumped, jumped at the same time because all of a sudden we just heard like this noise that was not from the screen, and we just yeah. saw like this figure like just move real quick. Yeah, and like everybody in there was great, and yet you know Brad Pitt was. Brad Pitt was Brad Pitt. Brad Pitt was Brad Pitt, you know, not too bad to look at either, you know. And um, his wife, I can't think of her name, I put her name right here. Um, but I, I watch her all the time on The Killing, love that show. Yeah. And uh, it was very cool the to kids, see her. The, the kids were, the kid actors, they, they were Every, good. Everybody, I mean, everybody, everybody, was, awesome. everybody was awesome. And I mean, and the zombies were just so scary. And it was just one moment after the next. And it's just like, okay, what can happen? How in the world are they going to get out of this? Right. And how in the world are they going to get out of this? And so I would really recommend that everybody go see this. This is one of those movies I will probably see a couple of times. Like, just so you can, like, try and catch everything. And I, I mean, the, the, this movie was different than a lot of the other ones just because of the ending. Well, I think it was different than the other ones, period. I mean, some of the, you know, others on movies do, they always do have their campy moments where you're like, oh, this person's, something's gonna pop up here, something's gonna pop up there. This movie was like, it was just, it was just, it was just very intense and scary. Right. <laughs> One thing I liked about it was like, what was, was how they, was how he traveled, you know, basically oh, yeah. around the world, like trying to find this disease and just seeing how different countries like, like coped with it was interesting, mm -hmm. and um, it, it was just a really, really good where, but you know, it's so funny because like for years before anybody ever thought, before they even made this movie, before they started making the movie, I would see the World War Z book inside a comic book store, and I would always ask you, like, pick that up again. Well, definitely gonna pick it up now. Yeah, I'm definitely going definitely to get to the now. books now just because this movie was just so fantastic. Yeah. And if the movie was this good, I bet the books were like 10 times better. Oh, for sure. But anyway, tell us what you think. I'm Katrina. I'm Gina. And we're the Gorgeous Geek.